Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to a game between Angry Korea Man, <laughs> Angry Korea Man, and Heat. This name, this game taking place here on, uh, well, is what, Echo Isles or Echo Isles? Yeah. Anyways, can't it do the. Let's get ready to rumble. Opening as well, the ma vast majority of my family currently asleep. It is still early in the morning here in the Crota household as this game gets underway. Heat spawning under the name Ragnarok over here on the well west side of Echo Isle. Over here on the bottom left, you see an Ancient of War already being set up. We'll be doing that Ancient of War creeping at this Renegade Wizard creep camp. Meanwhile, off on the other side of the map here, we're looking at Angry Korea Man opening things up with a lumber mill first. There's an altar of kings, and are we seeing a tower attempt? Now, back in the day, um, well, tower attempting, uh, uh, setting up towers was a very common thing against night elves, as well, night elf, uh, uh, night elf players just it didn't have that much base defense, and often. Um, would build their buildings far away. This one ancient of war all the way down to the south side here um, is a sign of that. But what is odd is this blood mage first. All right, complete unique opening here. Um, angry Korea man opting to open things up with a blood mage first with a lumber mill. And now with this lumber mill um, and setting up some scout towers inside his base, it looks like it may end up turning into a fast, um, a fast tech to tier two. Um, difficult to predict what um, is going to be going down in this matchup. All right, a blood mage. We'll see what strategy he's going to be going for. Is it going to be flame strike, banish, or siphon mana? And well, he's going to be going up against an altar of elders, um, who which is delayed and is going to be a tavern hero. All right. Um, talk about unorthodox strategies abound. It is going to be blood mage with um, blood mage with flame strike. Two archers already getting trained up. Ancient of War should be uprooting first. No archers purposely pulling back, and now we are looking at a dark ranger first. All right, so dark ranger going up against a blood mage in. Well, on Echo Isle 2.2, I do not believe I've ever had this particular fight go down this way ever, as the Renegade Wizard taking quite a bit of damage now. The Flame Strike, well, not really hitting any of the militia. Level 2 now on the Blood Mage, who will be picking up a Crystal Sphere or Crystal Ball. I guess I could call it a Crystal Sphere, but its proper name is Crystal Ball. And we're going to see the Dark, um, the dark Ranger purposely build up a large, large number of Skeletal Minions. As the Skeletal Minion num number continues to grow, this is a very, very fast, aggressive creep style and pattern. However, what Heat doesn't know is that Flame Strike, level 2 Flame Strike, um, could be just around the corner, and that could easily cause some big problems as a go wide strategy, well, generally um, falls at the hands of massive AoE. Nice counter to Mana Drain, Auto Cast Arrows, yeah. Auto Cast, but, but well, there is Mana Drain, but Auto Cast Arrows means that the Dark Ranger will very rarely have maximum mana, and you're ra rarely going to be able to siphon enough mana, anyways. So, good point there, as we see a Tree of Life now being placed down as well. We can uh, also see the tech to tier two has been started um, and ha is along its merry way. We can see one guard tower here with the second tower and a third tower now being placed down as well. Big flame strike, perhaps trying to finish off this no brute creep camp. This three, two, one creep camp trying to fit, take down all of these units. There goes one, there goes the other. The claws of attack plus four. Well, gonna be providing a little bit of bonus damage, but you can see that the blood mage is actually rather low on mana. Needs to pick up a Cloak of Shadows, and does get to level 3. Back down to the south side, Heat now going after, and while well, clearing up that Ogre Magi, picking up Gloves of Haste, so that Dark Ranger will be attacking fairly quickly and has a decent amount of mana with a fast attack speed. Alright, this this game is well really strange, difficult to try and predict what is going to be happening in this game here as the Ancient of War already moving off into position. You can see additional skeletal minions popping out of nowhere. Are we going to see a flame strike? We should be looking at a flame strike. There is a tome right there. Going to go ahead and siphon mana the Dark Ranger. Um, well, Dark Ranger, not quite sure what it did there. It, oh, it silenced 
the the blood mage so pretty much removing all of the remaining mana anyways so yeah dark ranger a perfect counter to the blood mage using black arrows and then if you don't have if you're unable to break that connection just use a silence on the blood mage and the blood mage can't even follow it up with a flame strike while breaking that siphon mana connection all right, as the units retreat back here, we are going up into a blacksmith now. Town hall is now nearly done. Are we looking into uh, uh, the workshop? Difficult to see as we are now going into Arcane Sanctum and a workshop. All right, Angry Korea Man's infrastructure looks a little bit curious as the Blood Mage now makes its way over, perhaps trying to clear out some of these wisps that are in the trees. But, well, there's not really that many wisps hiding in the trees at all. A Blood Mage may try and try and finish off some of these units here, but Heat is doing a great job managing all of that and making, making sure that there is, well, there is a minimal um, units walking back around. All right. Let me try. People keep on telling me that my uh, my casting volume's a little bit too low. How about now? Let me know. Anyways, coming back off to the north side here, we're looking at Angry Career Man trying to um, well shut down some of these moon wells. Not going to be able to do much here. You can see a little bit of that lingering da fire damage, but well, that's not going to amount to very much of anything. We can see now the Wisp is going to get finished off. No auto heal from these moon wells, as really Angry Career Man was hoping for an opening to try and take down something, but unable to get very far. All right, one moon well going to be destroyed here. Another moon well could get taken down as the Blood Mage is still low on mana. Meanwhile, the Dark Ranger is using this opportunity to clear out the majority of the creep camps out on the map and now going to find another creep camp here. Um, well, another orange creep camp here with five creeps to just continue to move along very quickly. Uh, all right, but we, we do know that Angry Korea Man is known for unorthodox strategies. And you can see here, dual arcane sanctums and a workshop being placed down. And mortar teams are in position as well to use that very, very long range. This is one of the problems if, if you do not try and challenge your opponent and you let them play the game that they want to play, even if it's an unorthodox game, you may not be able to figure out what he's trying to do and then end up falling behind. Economically speaking, Heat is in a very, very commanding lead, running off of two bases. He is also at tier two right now, not yet taking a tier three, as we see the Dark Ranger army now ready to push on in. There's some additional guard towers, no masonry upgrades, more farms being placed down, but plenty of damage to be had. Meanwhile, the Panda back at home, uh, or back at the Creep Camp, not really doing much as the Mortar teams are using that superior range to perhaps launch some attacks and defend from the confines of home. All right, in comes the Panda. Panda does have Breath of Fire here, can blow over many of these buildings pretty quickly. There goes another guard tower again. And this, well, uh, very, very tight building placement by Angry Korea Man is actually coming back to haunt him as he's unable to... Well, he's unable to easily defend as there's so many range units. And now the Brewmaster's Breath of Fire really doing large amounts of damage as well. 40 over 42 supply, very limited space, um, almost like being built in a metropolis. There are so many farms just close together as we see a blood mage trying to deter all of these units again. All right. Four Shoal Shadow Priests should be able to come off with some heals here. Mortar teams are in the back position, still lobbing plenty of attacks. Dual Arcane Sanctums with one workshop here. 40 over 48 supply compared to Heat's 49 over 50. Additional Moon Wells now being placed down as Heat doesn't want to waste the opportunity and now clearing out, or doesn't want to waste time and clearing out these easy creep camps, perhaps spawning up some more dark minions as well. Meanwhile, the Blood Mage, um, well, Clarity Potion trying to get a little bit more mana in. There's some Siphon mana and the Blood Mage is going to actually have a decent amount of mana, placing down a Flame Strike, taking down one unit, two unit, three units there. Could finish off another as, yeah, taking down four units and now siphoning mana away from the Brewmaster. No longer having any um, any mana unable to silence here as the Blood Mage could be in a little bit of trouble now trying to retreat back out, taking down another archer there. So me solo Blood Mage, no other unit has really even left the base right now as the Blood Mage retreats back out. All right, mass skeletal minions from those black arrows have dove, ha have died or dove inside the base. 
dove inside the base, but they're going to get cleaned up by all of the casters here. 43 over 54 supply as we see heat saying you know what if you're just gonna hide in your base i am going to take everything around the everywhere uh, everything around the map as we see a breath of fire blow things over again in comes another flame strike Heat trying to bring in a large ogre mauler tank into the battle here the mortar teams are in the pocket and well very well protected now that the blood mage has finished off all of those range or the majority of those ranged units heat still has a force troll berserker here able to deal some damage there's some more mortar teams lobbing some attacks there goes a flame strike that force troll berserker knows exactly what hit him some mortar shells and some well some mortar shells and a fl and um well an auto att well and a flame strike ground being on fire heat couldn't describe that for some reason Heat now scroll of town portal to retreat. Heat does have two bases with a third base inbound. Blood Mage sitting at nearly level five. Meanwhile, Dark Ranger nearly at level five as well, alongside a level two panda. Now, what can really be said? What can you really bring to the fight here? Dryad's not the unit that you really want. We are going into Tree of Ages. We should be looking at Druids of the Claw, but a big misstep by Heat here, training all of this up at um, at a single Ancient of Lore. His second Ancient of Lore is not queued up at all. And well, that is going to delay the introduction of these Druids of the Claw and perhaps a bit of mana as well. All right, Mortar Team's getting ready to move into position. Panda doesn't have any mana here. Unable to get Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Level 5 now on the Blood Mage. Blood Mage with level 3 Flame Strike now should be able to easily clean up many of those units. Meanwhile, Dryads are trying to dive on in, and they may get splatted down if they're not careful. All right, more. Well, there's that one splat that we were talking about here. Priests are healing themselves back up as we see a Staff of Preservation for the save. I believe go down on that Panda. All right, Druids of the Claw now finally being trained up at the second Ancient of Lore as well. Meanwhile, entangling the gold mine on the bottom right, it is going to be three bases to one with, well, 11 minutes of mining left inside the base of Angry Korea Man. All right, we are looking at Sorceress's training as well, getting up a Polymorph, getting up a third guard tower again, perhaps. No, also getting up a cannon tower that should offer a bit of protection from those Dryads, as it also cannon towers also have fortified armor. Druid of the Claws fighting alongside the Brewmaster. Brewmaster wanting to get up to level, um, level three, but well, I thought for a moment that this was a creep. No, it is one of Heat's Ogre Maulers. Um, staff of preservation for for the re trip back home perhaps some more rejuvenation will be in order as the blood mage of angry korea man ready to push out and cause problems this is all to just try and snipe things down and do it quickly and consistently and here we are here we go this base gonna take get absolutely bombarded here in just a moment multiple mortar teams uh, uprooting and well it doesn't matter ancient of war picks itself up only to see it itself get knocked down usually isn't in that order anyways tree of life now going to be in a lot of pressure as well mortar teams with inner fire there's a flame strike there no chance of any repairs as the tree of life gets taken down in a split second too meanwhile panda going to try and engage against all of these units panda still only sitting at level two after all this time i would have thought perhaps i'm going to see a drunken haze breath of fire unable to do anything right there there's a massive silence across all of those units i can't believe i've seen that much silence go down as now the drunken haze making it so that those targets are just constantly missing their target but panda now sitting up to level three there's a flame strike as they're seeing looking at mana flare also being used effectively as well if the uh, caster is trying to do anything they're going to be taking large amounts of damage as we're looking at the ogre maulers trying to break their way in but they're suffering large amounts of damage still all right fly machine is going to be going after the fairy dragons now the fairy dragon however does have 12 armor greatly reducing the amount of damage it takes still 62 supply compared to 53 we see another flame strike go down mortar teams could have some bad days as dark minions greater dark minions popping up out of the woodwork as well are we going to see some more sorcerers get caked down no we are not a tactical retreat by heat meanwhile on the bottom right heat does have this expo and it is currently mining away but it's not going to be long for this world as cannon towers are now being upgraded right next to it new tree of life being placed down by heat and in addition to try and replace the one that was lost but angry korea man well 
playing this cheesy, cheesy style, looking like he's going to um, take hold of this expo here as he does have a decent size army. 35, 34 supply army going up against 35. Um, it's heat with 29 workers. That's the reason why um, the supply difference was that large. 20 now down to 25 workers compared to angry korea man's 11 and there are i do not believe there are any goblin shredders on the map there's not even a goblin laboratory so no chance of that either to skew things in one favor or the other 37 supply army compared to 35 nearly level six on the blood mage which does mean um we are going to be looking at um a phoenix and then well phoenix um, generally have a little bit of problems I and mean, fly machine is going to get poked apart here gets taken down pretty quickly and now we're still going to engage here all right cannon tower lobbing some attacks here both sides going to try and engage one guard tower quickly taken down panda continuing to fight as the now looking at angry korea man's army making its way over this cannon tower how much damage can be done here going to go ahead and transform siphon mana and no silence on to the blood mage blood mage is going to have plenty of mana here as more guard towers are being placed down silence finally being brought over there's a breath of fire but no drunken haze as a little bit of damage getting added in mana flare causing some problems trying to finish things off are we going to see another breath of fire um well brewmaster no longer has enough mana for breath of fire as the blood mage could be in a little bit of trouble fairy dragons um, can easily park themselves over these mass casters here as the flame strike now goes down ogre mauler about to get taken down as well yeah human has no front line but when everything is moving so slowly and your front line is very very far and all has very long range difficulty get these slow moving bears over there as we now see the phoenix is up as well so phoenix alongside flame strike blood mage is still rounding corners going to be able to easily finish off the ogre mauler and also a druid of the claw with that magic damage oddly enough the hippogriffs are not going to be able to take down this phoenix as the phoenix egg is just going to rehatch once more odd odd situation as angry korea man going to be able to hold on to the phoenix hippogriffs not a true counter at all all right phoenix being brought back over saying you know what i still want a little bit more of you he's going to be able to finish off some of those units perhaps a little bit of splash damage one or two more shots as well as the fairy dragons are backing away again meanwhile blood mage going to easily clean up this tree of life flying machine well keeping track of everything here as the phoenix wants to retreat back blood mage nearly at level seven fairy dragon causing quite a bit of a stir here but the mortar team's taking down the dryads as well another priest can get taken down as a black arrow summoning up some more units all right dryads trying to go after these units quickly and easily perhaps going to take down some of these mortar teams and a breath of fire to get them into a, a dangerous spot here as the blood mage has plenty of mana again level two siphon mana really draining the mana out of that brewmaster and the brewmaster never getting a big breath of fire off that he needed we could be looking at level three siphon mana there's level three siphon mana and the brewmaster pretty much out of mana in a second the blood mage able to drain so much mana from that brewmaster and perhaps launch some more flame strikes when necessary units are now trying to retreat back here spellbreakers are out here on the battlefield they could try and control magic those dark minions but then you would just feed more experience to the opponent as well as we're looking at fairy dragons causing problems inside the base here a little bit of mana flare cause um, well mana flare causing some aoe damage for all of these casters in the back blood mage hiding in the backfield here trying to take down these greater dark minions as the night elf now pushing into position again to take down this castle castle down to 39 over 60 supply for angry korea man meanwhile 54 over 80 with heat having a slightly larger um, supply um, army supply advantage all right everything is parked out across over here fairy dragon gets taken down a druid of the claw gets taken down a blood mage now nearly at level eight the heroes of the night elf army constantly without mana unable to do very much as another source risk gets cleaned up again another flame strike could be coming across here as the fairy or the phoenix now able to spot and perhaps take down some of these druids of the claw dryads now in position to finally take down the phoenix phoenix is going to end up getting taken down here they're they're finally going to 
to be able to shut it down and with it it is gone but a new phoenix could be well hatched up here in just a second as the cooldown is now completed all right so blood mage could get launch another phoenix here if, if he wants to and perhaps cause some more problems as the sorceresses are engaging again all right Dryad is trying to poke apart out this frontline caster, but really needs to finish off this mortar team who is very far in the back. All right. More Blood Mage coming back across here. A Dark Ranger is trying to retreat back. A Greater Dark Minion going to get cleaned up as the Blood Mage is getting, well, gaining more and more experience at a faster rate because of that solo level, um, solo hero at tier 3 advantage. I think it's a 30% increase in overall experience gained. But the Dark Ranger, if it gets to level 6, greatly changes everything. The question then becomes, can the Dark Ranger um, afford enough potions to just constantly charm and take down a mortar team in, in those exchanges here? There's another. Oh, there's a Banish. Are we going to see a Siphon? Yes, we are as well. There's a Breath of Fire trying to blow things over, but you can see the Blood Mage has gotten so much mana again and again. Flying Machines trying to take down the Hippogriffs. Meanwhile, the Phoenix is now pushing back the other way and able to force that force troll berserker to get staffed up preservation back home we are down to about a minute and a half of mining here triple bases for heat but well angry korea man is still not out of this fight just quite yet mortar teams showing up on the door of heat getting ready to knock down these buildings and take down some of the key buildings as well dark ranger can't charm yeah i don't think the dark ranger can well i know it's magic immune huh that is a good question. I don't think I've ever had this come across. Dark Ranger now out. They're going to see a Phoenix Egg now out here on the battlefield. There's a Breath of Fire blowing things are over. Dark Ranger does have Charm, but doesn't have enough mana to use it as the units are looking to try and retreat back. Mortar or well, The Mortar team is able to get in some easy shots onto the Druids of the Claw as they are all slowed. And well, the, even the fl uh, well, Flame Strike they able to deal large amounts of damage because of those slow-moving bears. Mortar teams continuing to lob more attacks again. Hippogriffs are in the air overhead trying to keep track of everything as the Blood Mage has multiple targets to just constantly drain and siphon mana away from finishing bear after bear. All right. Units retreating back here. 39 supply army compared to um, Heat's 29. Angry Korea Man now having the army supply advantage even though he is down two bases. Angry Korea Man has been just absolutely playing with this difficult annoying army spellbreaker getting charmed here siphon mana away from a druid of the claw we could be looking at more flame strikes but charm at this point and stage in the game may not be enough as the blood mage gets up to level nine mortar teams now just going after building going after whatever it can for any slight advantage that it can get as the brewmaster is trying to find some easy targets in the backfield here all right Brewmaster is going to find those targets. There's another Siphon Mana trying to break the chain. There's a Staff of Preservation. No more mining for Heat. And Heat may be forced to throw in the towel. Um, or, um, as, well, if he couldn't win with a two-base two advantage, how can he win? Well, he's still he can still win with a two-base advantage, I guess, now that there is no more mining here. All right, I guess my light turned off. No more charge. Coming back around. Let's see. Yep, no more charge. Anyways, coming back through Blood Mage. Well, looking to finish the job here, taking down the remainder of the units. 23 supply army compared to 34. Brewmaster trying to catch up here. Militia now being called over, adding every little bit of additional fighting possible. Now, Angry Korea Man does have 600 gold in the bank. Could try and re retrain up a large army and try to make this game go long as the peasants and mortar teams here are going to be able to finish off this tree of eternity druid of the claw trying to hide in the backfield could easily get killed as well as the blood mage is now halfway nearly halfway to level 10. all right 
Dark Ranger perhaps needs to charm a bit more, trying to hire up a bunch of units, perhaps trying to uh, charm a mortar team. The mortar teams are really what you should be charming if you can get them. By getting those mortar teams, you can then start trying to uh, counteract and counter push the other way. There's a siphon mana charm and was not used, and now the Dark Ranger, instead of just killing a mortar team or putting a mortar team in an awkward position um, to get killed, he ends up losing more mana again as that Blood Mage is just constantly keeping the opponent in check. 49 supply army compared to 38. Angry Korea man still with a larger army at this point. Um, we are looking at Heat with over 2,400 gold, but he has no way to easily spend it. All of his infrastructure is now gone. As we see some quick, quick um, Ancient of Winds being placed down here at the last moment. P perhaps mass fairy dragons could have worked. Um, but then you would have to be dealing with those hippogriffs that deal 50 to 50 s or, or no yeah mass fairy dragons might actually have worked as they are ma magic immune and can easily take down and poke apart some of these units here all right going into an engagement now uh, no possession or no charm straight out of the gate ogre mauler coming their way through there's a breath of fire trying to finish things off and with that angry korea man has left the game angry Angry Korea man leaves the game. Heat ends up victorious. Silence onto the Blood Mage, unable to do very much as Heat was sitting on 3,000 gold, um, having no way to spend it, still able to come away with the victory. Perhaps an, a moon well at each of these mercenary camps to constantly flood back, train back up would have been helpful. But yeah. A closer game than I expected between Angry Korea Man and Heat, especially considering Heat had those additional bases. Let's take a look at the final scores. Well, Angry Korea Man outscoring Heat, but in the end, Heat's a gold advantage able to afford him some additional mercenaries to get over that hump. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.